Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to highlight an important difference between LabVIEW and NXTG and this is one of the, the issues that I found most important to get straight when I started working with LabVIEW and that is this uh, idea of targeting and what that means is you can actually have the program uh, compiled and then downloaded to the NXT and run on the NXT just like you would do in NXTG and that's called targeting to the NXT or alternatively you can actually have the program run uh, in more of an interpreted mode directly on the PC and that's got some advantages and some uh, some nice benefits that are worth looking at but first what I want to do is just uh, start with what's familiar uh, in terms of a program that we could do very easily in NXTG so this program here uh, it's sitting inside a loop that will repeat forever and the first thing that happens inside this loop is that we'll take a light sensor reading from port 3 then we'll subtract it from 30 we'll multiply that result by 2 and then feed that in as the motor power uh, on ports A and C and if I download and uh, well actually I'll just download that to the NXT first and once it's downloaded I can unplug my NXT and I can run this program and you'll see what happens is it wants to get a light sensor reading of 30 for the motors to be stationary. If I move my hand towards the robot the light sensor reading goes up and the robot backs away and if I move my hand away from the robot the light sensor reading goes down and the robot will move towards my hand. So far so good. Now the alternative is to target directly to the computer. So if we go to the file menu and choose target to computer, you'll see what happens here uh, down the bottom left hand corner it's changed. Instead of displaying the NXT that we're connected to we'll now see main application instance and for this to work, I definitely will have to have that plugged in. And we are going to run this program. And you'll see no great difference in behavior. But because it's running from the computer, we've now got the option of turning on this feature here, Highlight Execution. And what that does is overlays our program with all of the sensor readings and any variables that are happening throughout the program. You'll also notice the robot starts behaving erratically. That's because it's taking a lot longer to get through this loop each time. Uh, but if I just hold the robot here for a moment, actually what I will do is I'll just unplug those motors for a moment. Uh, so we don't have that distracting us. But if you have a look here, you'll see the light sensor readings changing. And then the calculations change each time. And you can see what's, uh, how the motor would be set each time through the loop. Now the advantage of targeting to the NXT, of course, is that you can run it untethered. It also executes a lot faster. But the advantage of being able to target to the computer is that you get direct access to these values and there are a bunch of other uh, tools that are available too. There are these probes that allow you uh, rather than highlighting the whole execution you can identify a point on the program where you would like to uh, keep track and you'll see this value uh, changes as the light sensor changes and as you can see here it's updating a whole lot quicker than we had before. So if I plug the motors back in, you can now see the robot responding like it did when we were targeted to the NXT, uh, but we can also see what values are being fed directly into the motor power. Now the other advantage of targeting to the PC is that we can use Another very important feature of LabVIEW called the front panel and that allows us to have uh, inputs 
that we can use to directly control the robot. Uh, we can also put displays on there uh, for various values and it's quite a nice feature and that's what we'll be looking at in the next tutorial.